So today we're going to be talking about uh, flower presses, um, their purpose, how to use them, how to make them, all sorts of that good stuff. Um, now there are some commercial flower presses out there that you can buy, um, but basically all you need to do is you need to have some form of pressure uh, to take a regular leaf or flower and flatten it out, uh, press the moisture out of it, that's going to preserve the color and help you um, later laminate it or put it in a protective sleeve, however you want to keep it after that point. Um, now you can easily make a flower press um, out of two uh, pieces of uh, plywood, uh, some bolts and wing nuts to press them down and then have uh, pieces of cardboard and um, paper towel and basically you're going to be able to flatten out uh, your pieces and this helps to preserve them, as I said, maintain their color, all that good stuff. So you can easily make one of those, however if you um, don't want to take the time or you've only got um, a few that you need to press, um, you can easily also make one out of some books and paper towels. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take a book, lay down a paper towel, then you're going to take whatever you want to flatten out, put it on there. You can sometimes get a couple in the same piece. And you're going to take another paper towel, lay it out on top, and then take another textbook and lay it out on top. And basically you just continue to do that, uh, creating your layers for your um, press. Now when you're all done with a simple textbook press like this, the ones on the bottom, uh, that first layer, they're going to be getting plenty of pressure from all the top books. However, this top layer here is not getting the same amount of pressure, so if you have just a couple extra books, just lay those on top, and that'll make sure that that very top layer also gets pressed down well. Um, you can basically feel if they won't press down anymore that you've got a good press going. 